Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you are returning, just say hi. Today I'm taking part in the DIY challenge hosted by my beautiful friend Heidi Sambal. I have linked her channel below. Please go check out her channel. She does amazing DIYs and trash to treasure. Today's theme was summer or coastal and I went with coastal. For this DIY, we're going to use Elma spray glue, a hot glue gun, scissors, eyelash yarn, jute, twine, some spackle, um, some paper from Hobby Lobby, and a wood cross from the Dollar Tree, and some random shells. First, I'm going to remove the piece of jute at the top that's used to hang the cross. And then I'm just going to take my spackle that I bought in the Dollar Tree tree and I'm just going to fill in the hole here and because when that dries I am going to use my spray glue and I'm going to glue that pretty piece of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. It looks like distressed wood in a teal. I'm just going to give this a nice coverage now of the Elmer spray glue and then I'm going to take that beautiful paper and I'm just going to lay it down in the lighter part. I, it's a little darker on one side but I wanted the lighter part. I think you could hear the train going by right now. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to lightly press that on and just make sure that it's attached to the cross all over. Now I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just tracing around the cross and cutting it out. This is not a very good X-Acto knife. I really need to get another one. I had a good one and I misplaced it somewhere and I can't find it. Anyway, you're just going to follow around the cross. Um, don't worry if it's jagged when you take the paper off or it's just not really neat because we're going to take a sanding block and we're just going to sand the edges of it, which will give it a nice smooth edge. Now I'm taking my sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I'm just like filing down the edges to make a nice neat line with the paper. I mean I actually don't even care if it's a neat line because I want it to look distressed. But um, this works great. This is a trick that I picked up from someone else on YouTube and I can't remember who but I think everyone does it now. Um, comes out really really nice and neat. Now here's the fun part. I get to decorate my cross and bring out that coastal vibe I'm looking for. So I'm just taking this eyelet, I, call, I think it's called eyelash yarn, and I'm just going to wrap a little bit around it, just, I don't know, just to give it a nice little texture. I just love the color of it and I just think it'll look really nice on the cross. I'm not a knitter, so I really don't know what this yarn is called. If anyone out there knows what this is called, can you leave it in the comment below? I think I heard it once called eyelash yarn, so that's what I call it. I'm not really sure, but if you know, please leave a comment and let me know what you call this yarn. Now I'm just going to wrap some jute twine around it. 
Um, probably going to do like a little crisscross in the middle just because I love the way this looks. The, the twine is, um, it's farmhousey and it's coastal and I just think it looks pretty. Now I'm going to add some random pretty shells in just a random pattern, whatever I think looks good. Just going to play around with them and place them where I think they look pretty. And then after that I added a couple of white pearls that I didn't mention in the beginning of the video. And I'm also going to use one of those pretty blue gems, glass gems that you get from the dollar store. I had a whole bunch of those left over from another project. And even the seashells are all left over from another project. So I pretty much had everything to do this project, including the paper from Hobby Lobby.
After I finished the cross, I went back and I used a few different blues, teals and aquas, and I just put a little bit on the edge of the cross because I didn't like the wood there. I, you'll see it in this photo here. You could see a little bit of blue and I overlapped it a little bit. This photo here was where it's hanging is before I added the blue, but the last photo you will see the blue on the edges. I liked it better than the wood. And here are the final, final results after I added the paint. I hope you enjoyed this video and what are we gonna do next? DIY number two. I am taking these lamps that my mom was going to throw out and I'm going to give them a complete transformation into a coastal vibe. These lamps are actually made out of plastic and I wanna make them look like they are Steel, a very weathered, rusty, little bit distressed antique. For this DIY, steel. I'm going to use the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I have a full one and a couple pieces left over from other projects. I'm going to use the Caribbean paint from Apple Barrel. And I got this tip from Holly from Hot Humble Pie. I'm she said go to Home Depot or Lowe's and they have an area where they have reduced paint because people order paint and they return it and they can't sell it so it's cheap. So I found this great light ethereal blue for 50 cents and I'm going to turn it into a chalk paint and I'm going to prime the lamp with this color first. So I'm going to paint the whole thing with this and then when this dries I'm going to put this coastal color blue which like I said I'm going to make it into chalk paint first and then I'm going to put that over it so that when I distress it some of the Caribbean turquoise color will come out in distressing and some of the brown will come out to give it that aged look. Now here is where you're going to see my fail. I started to use this acrylic paint and it just really was not sticking to the plastic and I did not feel like putting 99 coats on here. So what I decided to do was I grabbed my Debbie's DIY clay paint in 57 Sherry. That's, that's the name of the color. It's gorgeous and it can adhere to anything with one coat. So that's what I did. I decided to cover the lamps in this color, which is one of my favorite colors. And then you're gonna see how that comes out after I distress it too. It came out beautiful. So here it is covered in the color 57 Chevy, which is just gorgeous. And now I'm just taking my sand, my little um, sander from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to distress it a little bit because I don't want to take a lot of the paint off, but just in the areas that would normally get banged up. And I'm going to take my Nutmeg Brown by Apple Barrel and I'm going to just use a dry brush and I'm going to lightly distress it with the dry brush. It gives it the effect of it, a rust look, like the lamp is rusty, because I'm trying to get that rusted metal look. And I think I did a good job of it.
Now I'm going to take my nautical rope and I'm just going to hot glue it around a few of these, um, the balls on the lamp. I'm just going to put a couple of them. I'm not going to go all the way to the top, I don't think, because I think the shade is going to cover it. But um, I'm just going to pick some random spots and I'm going to wrap some rope around it to give it that nautical look.
now I'm going to glue a piece of the nautical rope along the bottom of the lampshade and then I'm going to glue another piece along the top of the lampshade right above the um, seam here and then on the top I just hot glue it right below the seam. And here are the final results. I love the way these lamps came out. Love, love, love them. I love the way they look like they're rusty metal. I love the patina. I love the nautical rope on it. I was going to put these up in my Etsy shop, but I think I'm going to keep them. I just, I just absolutely love them. I hope you liked everything you saw here today. And let me know in the comments which was your favorite DIY that I did today. I hope I've inspired you to make something of your own. for watching. Don't forget to click on the playlist below and watch all the creators in this challenge. And please remember to give me the thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. Thank you.